Hey everyone, I'm Summer from the Dark, and today I have a tutorial video for you. I'm going to be showing you how to create custom models in Kingdom Hearts 1 using Blender and Hypercrown. In my previous videos, I used Maya instead of Blender, and that is because Blender does not properly import the DAE files that are generated by Hypercrown. However, my friend from Discord that goes by the username Sorunme has found a workaround for this issue, so I'll be showing you how to do that workaround today. You'll need two things to do this workaround. First, you're going to need Clay Viewer. Clay Viewer is a tool that can take DAEs as input, and it can output them as .glb files. This is used for the workaround, since Blender can't import .glb files properly. You'll also need, for Blender, if you're on a version that is below 2.8, the GLB add-on. It was installed um, by default in version 2.8, however, for 2.7 or 9 or lower, you'll need to install the add-on yourself. So I'll have the download link to Clay Viewer and the add-on in the description. I'll also put a download link for Sornunme's original .txt file with the write-up on how to perform this if you wanted to follow along. Alright, let's get started. Here we have Dark Riku's MDLS file, and we can extract that with this extract command. These first eight images are the textures for the 3D model, so I'm going to just delete the rest of the images since I won't be using them. Next we can convert the model to a DAE. Alright, and now I'm going to import this DAE into Blender to show you why Blender does not properly import this file. First, we have the mesh, it looks fine. But if we try to display the texture, we can see that it doesn't quite find the textures. And that wouldn't be that big of a deal, but more detrimentally, you can see that there are only 145 bones in this armature. If we open up the original MDLS in Noasis, we can see there's supposed to be 247 bones. So that would affect all of the animations if you rigged with the skeleton. Okay. So now we can use Clay Viewer in order to convert this DAE to a GLB file instead. We'll also select all of the textures and drag that in to the Clay Viewer. And it looks good in here, so let's go ahead and hit the download button. We'll hit GLB, and then we can just save our file as a .glb file. And there we go. Once you have the add-on installed in Blender, you'll be able to select the GLTF 2.0 option under Import, and we can import that GLB, and the mesh still looks good, the texture looks good, and if we open up this armature here, we have all 247 bones. However, everything's not ready to go just yet. A closer look at this um, setup in the outliner reveals that we have a few things that look a bit strange. We have two armature nodes, one of the meshes is separated from the others, so let's go ahead and fix that. I'm just going to delete the first node, rename the second node. I'm going to regroup these, and now that these are together you might also notice that this one has a modifier that none of the others have, and that's the modifier for the armature. So let's go ahead and add that for all of these as well. Alright, now we have all the modifiers on there, so we should be good to go. You could make any modifications to this model, just like you normally would in Blender. I'm not going to make any modifications right now, but I will show you what to do when you are finished with your model so that you can export it. We're just going to export it as a DAE file, and I'm going to name this darkriku.dae so I don't overwrite my original. We also want to select a few options. We want to select the Apply Modifiers option, 
and if we scroll down, the Keep a Bind Info option. Once we've done that, we can hit Export Collider, and we should be good to go. Here we are, darkriku.dae. So now we just need to run the conversion command. Alright, so we have darkriku.mdls. Now, if I had a different mesh put into here with Riku Skeleton, I would want to add my new textures in, but because the textures from the template, Dark Riku, match these textures in this case, I'm not going to make that change right now. So I'm just going to use this darkriku.mdls, and I'm also going to make a copy of the M set and call it darkriku.m set. And that'll let us open up the model in the Model Viewer WX and preview those animations. And as you can see, it plays the animations just fine. So we are good to go. I would like to give a special thanks to Sora Noonme who put in a bunch of work figuring out how to perform this workaround and get it working with Blender. So. I hope that this opens up um, custom models for Kingdom Hearts 1 and makes it uh, more user friendly for people since I know a lot of people prefer Blender to Maya. I would also like to thank my Dark Side tier patrons, Steven Walker, as well as my Neo Shadow patrons, Tristan Watts Willis, and Crackle.